Hi, I'm Jeremy Renner, and today I'm going to show you what my diet looks like to prepare for my new series, Hawkeye. Basic diet is, you know, I just steer away from things that I love. <laughs> and for me, it, the diet is not even about weight as much as it is for energy. I need the energy to be able to go through an 18-hour day, six days a week. When I'm working, it's a bowl of tuna and carrots and celery, and then I throw in some tortilla chips with that just to give me a little bit of salt. It gets quite boring in the sense of, even though I love steak, but you gotta mix it up. I can't eat steak every day, but you know, I go steak and do chicken. I'll do some sort of like high-protein meat. I've had very, very strict diets on certain jobs. And as I've gotten older, I just didn't have to be that strict. I'm not trying to get 4% body fat and any, that sort of thing. Well, I got pretty lazy during COVID for sure. I, <laughs> I was on a beanbag eating nachos and milk duds and all sorts of terrible things that I think we all love, but you can't eat it, right? <laughs> I had to fit back into that tight suit. <laughs> You start off my day usually with some egg whites, some avocado, and a couple slices of bacon, maybe some tomato slices. That's a very typical breakfast. You know what I'm working when I, I don't eat breakfast when I'm not working because I don't have a caterer there. And they're there and I'm not gonna get up and make that for myself in the morning. I have to make waffles for my daughter first. I'm like, I don't have time for me. So, and then it's small snacks throughout the day. There's no lunch or brunch or any of that. Every you know 90 minutes, every two hours, it'll be tuna, crunchy, healthy. If there, if there is a lunch, some sort of chicken and broccoli. But again, if I wasn't working, I'm probably not eating anyway all the way until the end of the day, just having a big dinner. That's usually gonna be lighter if I'm working. You don't wanna have like a, a big, heavy pasta dinner and things like that. That's usually kind of what they prepare. And I usually avoid that just because that kind of weighs me down energetically. I'll make dinner with my daughter and we'll have a big meal and I'll have a big caveman sort of meal then. And then I'm not hangry anymore. <laughs> Cheat day. I, anything I want, except, you know, I avoid still, even on a cheat day, donuts. So somehow in some way, it's burned in my brain that it, you have to run eight miles to burn off one donut. Now I love donuts, but I'm not running eight miles, okay? I'm not even running at all to cover men's health. <laughs> Another you know, part of the diet was really hydration. This is the first thing I always think about. I'll take something like it's called, something called liquid IV, which has potassium and electrolytes and things like that. So you only need one of those and it's worth like four of these bottles. But I'll take vitamins just for my brain, my psyche. What I'll do more often than not would be grabbing vitamins in an IV or even B12 shot. That's a quick, easy thing because IVs take some time, but a quick shot in my butt and keep going, right? There's little windows of time. You take what you can get, right? I mean, this diet is, is not even a diet. It's just a way of life. If everything's balanced and you're in, a, in some, some sort of harmony, but you have an excess of too many things of anything, you have a great, great imbalance. Follow your heart, follow your body, listen to your body and I think you, you'll succeed. Don't eat the whole pint of ice cream, right? Just a nibble on it. 